covered excessively with shipping labels. What's inside the Z-Box mystery box made for geeks? Yes, what is inside? Everybody inquires, inquiring minds would like to know. The Z-Box mystery box made for geeks every single month delivers a selection of t-shirts, collectibles, and more right to your door. I'm not sure why I'm whispering. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Now, I'm not sure, I shouldn't be waving my knife like this, but I'm not really sure what month this is. Part of me thinks that it's actually January. Could very well be February, but the only way we'll know for certain is to cut the front tape open. That's it. That's all that's required. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> no, we're going to open this up. What would I be if I wasn't consistently accurate with the way these reviews are handled? We're going to grab one thing out, look at it, digest it. Nom, 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 nom. And then we're going to look to the next thing. And hopefully along the ways, we'll know exactly what box this is. First things first is the Terminator Genesis Chronicle Collectibles Half Skull Endo Skull. Half Scale Endo Skull. Here's what it looks like on the back there from the folks over at Chronicle Collectibles. Uh, on the top it actually says it's also Loot Crate exclusive, so maybe they had acquired some additional samplings of these along the way. And just open up. Let's cut the tape on the one side, being very careful. I don't want this dropping after all. There we go, and get that opened up. Well, it's certainly living up to its name. It's half size. Not that I physically have a one-to-one -one scale replica for the uh, endoskeleton as I do, but uh, it feels like it's slightly hollow. Uh, it's obviously made of plastic. There's the air hole right there. I mean, it's pretty nicely detailed for what it is. It doesn't... I think the only thing I probably would have added to this is probably like a display stand, something just to prop it up, because as it goes right now, it's it's gonna fall back. It's got some really nice detailing though to it. Look at the, ooh, look right in there. Of course the eyes, they don't glow, but they're painted in the way that they would look like they would glow. Something always very scary when I looked at the endoskeleton. It's just a very creepy looking thing to look at. Again, a nice looking replica though. The only thing I would say, my only obstacle, I wish there was something like even just a little, like a post or something on the back that it could sit, so it could sit upright, because you don't want the, you know, you don't want the skull just to tip back all the time. We'll put that right over there. So far, that is my favorite thing from the box. It also is the first thing that we looked at in this box. Moving along though, ooh, look at this. We've got the Batman The Dark Knight Returns pop vinyl figure from the folks over at Funko. Again, I know I'm not normally somebody that jumps on board the pop vinyl figures from Funko, usually quite exhausted by it, but there are certain characters that when I do immediately pick them up, pull them out, maybe from like a subscription box or for, for, for example, I might let out a girlish yee because this is, uh, again, characters that I'm a little bit more familiar with, certainly loving The Dark Knight Returns. I have to admit, that's a pretty neat looking vinyl though. This one may actually make it to the shelf. What? A vinyl figure making it to this guy's shelf? I think it might. We also gotta sell ourselves a t-shirt. This is the Lord of the Rings there. And just double check the size. Yes, the size will fit me, that's good. It's not a petite. I'm a little bit bigger than a petite. There is Gandalf right in front of, is this the troll doorway? I'm trying to remember, it's been so long since I've watched Lord of the Rings. It's not certainly something that if you have a spare afternoon, you just think to yourself, hey, I'm gonna watch like a three hour plus movie. It doesn't usually happen that way. Also inside, we got, oh, look at this. Now I think I had picked this one up before and then sadly I sold it. It's, look how Lady Luck has smiled herself back down here. Uh, we have got the Batman Animated Series. I believe this is from Eagle Moss, isn't it? Uh, on the back side, does it say anything that says Eagle Moss? Looking, I'm looking. Oh, right, it, right there, right there, Eagle Moss. There is the Batman, the classic Batman Animated Series. Oh, that looks nice, that looks pretty. And of course, uh, there's more to it. This would come out of the, well, you know what, we'll just, Hard, hard pressed for me just to talk about it and not actually take it out of the packaging. 
Of course, everything now has fallen out of the packaging, so we'll just we'll just finish what we started, finish the the disaster as we've started it. There is the Batmobile. Uh, does it have rolling wheels? I always wondered that. Well, they appear to have rolling wheels, and I guess they are attached via screws. If you wanted to take this out, you could. Does the canopy open? It does not seem to be the case. A nice looking Batmobile though. And of course, to complete the look, I guess we would have to take the back case here, put that into the back, kind of like a lenticular. See, as it see, see it moves a little bit. Lenticular, this one's got a little lamp post too. We gotta be careful we don't accidentally break that. Oh boy, that would just be disastrous, wouldn't it? I shouldn't even jinx it by saying that. And we're just very carefully, very gingerly, cautiously putting that back into place. And that is a nice looking, that is desk worthy right there. You wanna talk what could go potentially on a desk? That's right there, a contender. Minus even, of course, taking the case off. I might even just take the case off and leave it as such. Yeah, I, I think I sold it. I think I gave it away. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I wish I could remember. I don't remember. I think I gave it away and so regretted so afterwards. It's back, it's back. Uh, we also have a Harry Potter heat change mug. Whether hot or cold, cold or hot hits the spot. Uh, he who will not be named, there it is right there. And then on the other side, very clearly when you add hot liquid, uh, he who must not be named, very clearly, very loudly gets named Voldemort. Oh, I just said it. There's on the back, and it comes with from, of course it does, Paladone, right there, Paladone. Gift something better. Paladone ceramic mug, containing one ceramic mug, just in case you were wondering. I mean, there's not more, there's not seven in here. Get one ceramic mug with heat change decal. Not safe for dishwashers, not safe for microwaves. And yet individuals that come over to this place, this dwelling of mine, so frequently will use these mugs, these precious a few mugs that I have hold dear in my heart. And where do I often find them? In the dishwasher or the microwave. Face palm. Anyways, while this one does last, Maybe I'll have to put this in a private reserve, a stash that's only for my stash, only for my stuff. That's probably gonna have to put it there, because if not, somebody's gonna probably use it, and they're gonna put it in the dishwasher, and it's gonna be ruined. Had that happen a couple of times with my mugs, and then somebody just says, well, it doesn't matter. It's just, it just moves like, it just means like the Tetris pieces aren't gonna move on your mug. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing I wanted the mug to do, and now it can't anymore, because you, Mr. Bumpkins have put it into the dishwasher. Shame, shame. Uh, other than that, I don't see anything else in this box unless you count open space to be something. I'm still not also quite certain what box this is for. I believe it is January 2019. Of course, we're resolving all the rest of the remaining matters when it comes to Canada Post and stuff, eventually circulating it to you know people that actually want their mail to come on time but we, we want better vacations or more time off. I, I, don't, I don't even know what they were striking. Needless to say, whether this be January, whether this be February, today we were having a look at the Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. And actually a pretty good haul overall. I might actually say my favorite thing from this was the Eagle Moss Batman animated series Batmobile. What was your favorite thing from this box? Do ever so do let me know down below. I do appreciate that. Make sure as well, my friends, my colleagues, Bunkos of the interweb, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos like this, maybe on time, will be coming soon to this channel. So keep your eyes peeled. Disgusting. It's just so disgusting. I'm just flabbergasted that I keep using eyes peeled and I'm just imagining those people, public school, oh, kids in, in the class that just peel up their eyelids. Oh, nobody wanted to see that. Nobody wanted to see that, and yet they just kept doing it because they knew nobody wanted to see it. You don't want to draw attention to something because they'll just keep doing it. Oh, I'm trailing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.